Kubor Kabate Si TV. Lawan rasa pi tak orange nisan lum so po ni fire brigade silong ringkat bag net foodish. Order mapi nin wan ramangi hacker dog ying jumpi. O Menteri Ketenat Forest and Environment Kesorkar Jela U James P. K. Sangma Ubala hair jurip ha ke lipoteric upna jeleu arhajar arpuwey Ya ke pungsna sok pailen Ne alge ha ke senang sona perdi Ula ong baka sorkar kala ya peleu jingut ha Bat ki reo syampang Negeri United States Bat negeri Israel Ke baju wad banyak halor ke jingtung Ban pen KM ya ki om ki wak Ne ban pen kod ya ke om asid ha ke wak Unyu Menteri Kesorkar Jela Ula Ongru baka wak luka kadai ka wak kabala kerkui ki babon ki bala syanyak haka hanrai kumbali atip lang barok baka jingtuk jongka um asid kala penjulor ni penlong ya ka wak ban yap bat kelarong. Ula Ongru lengba kani ka projek bala thung ya ki fightory mediation na ki sok pailan ki ban kejit ya ka jakhlia bat ban penkot ya ka um ka wak kan sawan rak biang ya ka jingkot jong ka wak luka ka bala syak penjabok na ka jing pentut jabok na ka jing ti doyong ka jing ti maushun pat ni ki jakhlia ki bala pentut na ki karkhana. Main reason for the pollution of these rivers is because of the uh, the coal mine, uh, the acid mine drainage that takes place because um, this is where uh, we have found out that uh, the acidity levels they go up. Uh, there are certain effluents from industries but I think uh, those are there but uh, you know it is uh, something that uh, I feel um, compared to whatever um, acidity that flows into the rivers it's uh, it's relatively very less which uh, exists everywhere it's not just in our region and uh, this is a problem uh, which everyone is facing where do you find the balance and uh, i think that um, the challenge lies in that uh, in the fact that we need to find that balance uh, it's not easy um, because uh, you can't say one is more important than the other so uh, we are always uh, you know, in that constant mode of striking a balance between the two. Uh, it's not easy, you can't keep everyone happy, but then uh, I mean a decision has to be taken and the, um, you know, we have to move ahead. So it's very important that um, uh, in the move towards uh, economic growth, uh, we also have um, a very very conscientious mind uh, and thought towards the environment and the ecology and to protect that delicate balance that is there that that exists so um, you have the, the question is very pertinent and uh, it is always the effort of the government to find and strike that balance uh, the reason why the acidity is high is because of uh, acid mine drainage uh, which is water which gets uh, mixed up in the coal mine areas and then flows into the rivers. Uh, that is the reason why the acidity level is so high. Uh, there's precipitation uh, from um, the fact that uh, there are uh, two tributaries that come and uh, you know the place where the confluence takes place. There, um, um, you know, water coming from um, the limestone areas, mixing with the water coming from coal mine areas, the highly acidic with the uh, highly alkaline. Uh, there, you know, then we have a lot of heavy metals that come about. So yes, uh, you know, it is a problem, uh, all these things, but uh, that is why we as a department are very uh, keen at looking at how we can find re remedies uh, and solutions to these kind of challenges that are there. As we all know um, that um, uh, climate change um, and global warming is such a major issue. Um, it is a global phenomena which has um, brought about a lot of um, discussion, a lot of concern, uh, not just uh, among governments, not just among uh, uh, the civil society and the public, uh, but it is a big concern for each and every one of us. Uh, we feel uh, that uh, uh, in line with uh, you know, the government of India uh, having a nomenclature uh, of the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change, um, in line with that, uh, I'm also proposing to the government that uh, we must change the nomenclature of our forest department from uh, Department of Environment and Forest 
to Department of, Envi Department of Environment and Forest and Climate Change. Uh, this will uh, broaden, I believe, very importantly, it is the need of the hour. Uh, it will broaden our mandate into uh, you know, uh, a subject which is uh, of grave concern for each and every one of us, which is climate change. Uh, and uh, this is very important. So um, we are looking at um, you know, proposing that to the government, and uh, we are hoping that you know government accepts our proposal. The pH level is, uh, as you can see, it's because of the monsoons <coughs> that uh, uh, the pH level would have improved because of the dilution from the you know, uh, monsoon rainwater. But um, this is a seasonal phenomena where um, the pH levels. Uh, they come down to a very acidic level, that is during the lean season. And uh, there are also traces of certain heavy metals. And psychoremediation uh, is a process by which we can, uh, you know, the algae can uh, uh, counter these kind of uh, phenomena. And this is a pilot project, as you can see. It was started um, with the intention of testing whether, uh, you know, how effective it will be. And uh, we can see uh, right now um, that the efficacy levels are very high. And uh, however, uh, as I said, it's a scalable model. So as per the requirement, you know, we will be conducting a study uh, as to what level uh, it has to be scaled up to ensure that uh, the, the process can be expedited. So now, um, as we all know that um, algae uh, is a global phenomenon. Uh, it has uh, found acceptance uh, all over the world and um, uh, to make this a sustainable model we need the involvement of community um, of all the stakeholders to come forward and participate in this and uh, for this we want to um, as a department make sure that uh, to make this a sustainable model to uh, bring in involvement of the people uh, and for that, uh, we have been talking to uh, many people uh, from outside, especially from the US and from Israel, uh, to bring in ways and means by which um, uh, this can become a sustainable model. What I mean to say is um, that algae is a um, is also become uh, a lot of people have become aware of the fact that this is a superfood. Um, you know, it has more uh, beta carotene than uh, carrots, it has more iron than uh, spinach. Um, so because of the high nutritional value of algae per se as a food, uh, we believe that um, a lot of people are going aware to this, uh, going aware of it. And uh, if people were to uh, cultivate it not just for the uh, psychoremediation of rivers, but also to um, sell this as a superfood, I think that this would become a, a model which is sustainable for the future and uh, which a model which would involve the community and would empower the community. So we are looking at such kind of ways and means by which we can tie things uh, up and uh, bring about um, a sustainable, a more sustainable model.